Hey boys, Sharon here from GameYak.com. Here we are today back in the Into the Wood update for Grounded going for the Get Yoked achievement. This is to find 20 Milk Molars. Milk Molars are going to be a new collectible type in this game. They don't really require you to make anything new in order to start grabbing them. In fact, the only two things that are bare minimum that you need can be reused from the base game. And those are going to be a tier 2 hammer, which you can use in the form of the insect hammer, as well as a gas mask. In this current build of the game, there are going to be a total of 35 that you can use. You only need 20 for the achievement, so I'm going to show you the 20 easiest ones to get that don't require any swimming or major dungeon crawling, so make sure you keep that in mind. There are going to be an additional 15 ones that do also count for the achievement. So first one up and the closest one to the starting area is going to be the one in the red ant hill. Make sure you take the entrance on inside. If you have a lighting device, I recommend using that if you are afraid of the dark. So just make sure you equip a torch or a lantern or something. And then make sure you head on inside. Remember, the worker ants will not aggro on you unless you attack them. And then the soldier ants will give you trouble, but it's best to just run away from them. If you do end up attacking any type of ant, the entire colony is going to turn on you, so be very careful of that. You don't want to end up in a situation where you're fighting 20 to 50 ants. Anyways, just make your way through the tunnels until you get to this first open area right here. Once you see this fork, which one of these, you want to make sure you look underneath this overhang and you should find the first milk molar. In order to pick them up, you have to break them using a tier 2 hammer. So use your insect hammer to smash them open, and then you just grab the collectible by walking over it. Moving on to collectible number two, which one do you want to make sure you head over here? This is going to be the plank of wood in the middle of the original map. And then from here, which one do you want to make sure you head underneath the plank of wood? And then underneath it is going to be a wolf spider den. So be very careful here. Obviously, the later in the day that you come here, the wolf spider will probably be out hunting. So be careful if you do bump into him. If you do happen to come here during the middle of the day, he is more likely than not going to be inside the cave. So again, be very careful. I recommend heading on inside and making sure you hug the right side of the cave. The reason for that is once the cave starts to open up right here, he is more likely than not going to be in the open area to the left. So if you stay to the right, you are going to have an easier time of making it to the collectible, which is going to be on the right side of the cave. Just make sure you take your time and then break the spider webs. And if you do run into him, get ready to either fight or make sure you make your grand escape. So make sure you find the molar, which is going to be right here on the right hand side of the cave. Break it open, grab your collectible, and quickly get out of dodge. Next one up is going to be collectible number three. It can be gone on the southern bench right here. It should be out in the open, very easy to spot from far away, and no dungeon crawling required. So just head up to it and then smash it for another collectible. Moving on to molar number four, this one is going to be gone at the power outlet on the bottom left of the hedge area. This one is going to be very frustrating to get since there is no natural way of getting to it. You are going to have to build up to it. Thankfully, there was a collectible in the base game that required you to build up to the top of the outlet. So you can just reuse that structure and then just modify it slightly. Instead of heading to the top of the outlet, you want to make sure you build an extension leading to the actual power socket. And then you are going to build your way up and then climb up and then make the big jump to get onto the actual power plug. And there you will find the next molar. Molar number five is actually going to be inside the bush, and we're going to be showing this from the field station as a reference. So locate the field station and make sure you take the right branch leading further into the bush. And then once you get to the first fork in the road, make sure you take the right fork. The molar is going to be on top of that juice box, so we are going to head over there. So take this branch up and then make sure you kill any spiderlings along the way. Keep following the branch until it takes you to the next big branch right here. You are going to hang another right and then we're going to head over to the mushroom staircase, which takes you up to the base of the juice box. Mind these spiderlings that you are going to encounter along the way. You don't want them knocking you off of the tree because it's going to be super annoying to get back up. And then once we get over to the juice box, what you want to do is you want to make sure you are going to keep going past the straw and then over to the zip line right here. Don't take the zip line. Instead, go further into the branch. And then we have to do some very tricky platforming right here. So highly recommend making a save. And then you're going to have to jump on the leaves, which is always ill-advised in this game because they are going to be a little wonky on how the physics work but just make sure you fumble your way up and then hopefully you should be able to stick the landing on each of these and then once you get high enough you should be able to make a big jump across and then onto the juice box 
So the best leaf to make the last jump from is going to be this one that's sticking straight out of this branch right here. So just make sure you make your way onto this leaf and then do a big running jump and then hopefully you should stick the landing on the corner of the juice box which should allow you to get the molar. So once you make that jump, just make sure you smash the molar like normal and we should be one molar richer towards the achievement. Molar number six is going to be on the opposite side of the berry bush. It's going to be the bottom rightmost corner of the map. This is going to be another one that's going to be out in the open. Very easy to spot from far away and no gimmicks needed. Just make sure you head here. Hopefully you have a safe time crossing the berry bush area with all the orb weavers out there. And then once you get over to the extremity of the map, just make sure you grab it. For molars 7 and 8, which one do you want to make sure you take the entrance up to the back side of the hedge lab? This obviously requires you to beat the hedge lab first in order to get this shortcut open. So make sure you take the ramp up and then you should be on this side. We're going to get the one on the outside of the lab first. So make sure you run wide and then look for the bit of lab that's going to be off by its lonesome right here. It's that little bit of tubing with the spider webs in it. Be very careful of the orb weavers. You can fight them if you really want to, but nonetheless, make your way inside the tube. And then this is going to be the first of the two molars in this location. Once you grab that, just make sure you backtrack the way you came and we are actually going to head in to the hedge lab. So just make sure again, you run wide and try your best to dodge those orb weavers because we don't want to waste time fighting them or you can fight them if you really want to, it doesn't really matter. As long as you make your way back, you are going to start climbing up the tree and then making your way into the actual hedge lab by taking the back entrance. So if you forgot how to get there, the quickest way is to go up the root of the bush right here and then take the mushroom staircase up to the branch. So just make sure you do that. And then you have to make sure you duck under this part and then wrap around here. And then what you have to do is to make sure you jump up here and then you can make your way into the back door and then you're going to take this tube up. There are probably going to be Orb Weaver Juniors and Spiderlings roaming the place, so make sure you take them out. Once you get to this first branch right here, you're going to take the ramp that's going up. Make sure you look for the glass tube in the middle of the room. That's going to be your sign to take this ramp that goes up to the supply room. Once you are here, you're going to hit up the zip line. We are going to do the thing where we drop on the nearest branch to us. So as soon as you hook, make sure you click and right stick to drop on to this branch. And then we are going to turn to the right. And then we are going to head up this branch that leads us up into the bush. So just make sure you take this one up and then eventually you're going to get to another fork. You want to make sure you take the left one. So the right side is going to take you to the observation module if you drop down. If you take left, you should be able to go to this separate partition of the lab. And then this is where the next molar is going to be. So we are heading over here and not to the observation module. So make sure you keep that in mind. So once you are in here, the molar is going to be on the right side of the partition. And then just make sure you grab it like usual. Get your hammer, break it, and then grab the inside bits. Moving on to molar number nine, this one's going to be the upper right of the original map on the border of the Koi Pond. What you want to do is you want to make sure you look for it. It's going to be right next to the wall. This is going to be another one that's going to be out in the open, hard to miss, and you should be able to spot it from far away. Keep in mind there are going to be some pretty powerful creatures here. Watch out for the orb weavers and the mosquitoes. So depending on time of day, this one may or may not be hard to get to, but make sure you get to it. Molar number 10, which is going to mark the halfway point, is going to be right here. This is by the Welp Flavor Drink Soda Can, so this should be a landmark, so very easy to find if you're using the map. Make sure you go to the bottom side of the soda can, and you're going to be able to actually go underneath it. And then underneath it should be the next molar, so make sure you smash that open, and then we should be 10 of 20. So halfway through and we are able to move on to molar number 11. It's going to be right here on the north side of the oak tree. It's going to be in between these two roots right here. Be very careful whenever you are approaching this area, especially if you have sealed the haze canister. The reason for that is there should be an infected wolf spider roaming around. And that thing is one of the most powerful creatures in the game so far in this current build. So do proceed with extreme caution whenever going for this one. Molar number 12 is going to be in the oak lab itself, so make sure you locate the entrance. Again, watch out for that infected wolf spider roaming around. And then once you are inside, just make your way through the lab. Make sure you say hi to Burgle along the way, and then walk past him. 
you are going to take that hole in to the part of the old anthill. So make sure you drop down and make sure you take the route across and then make your way through the tunnel system until you get to that part that actually dips into the old anthill. So it's that little ledge that you take down to get into the hill. And we will be coming back here later for another very grindy achievement, so stay tuned for that. But the molar is going to be right here on the ledge, so make sure you smash that and then grab your collectible. That should put us at a dozen, and then we can move on to molar number 13, which is going to be right here on this little triangular border between the original map, the western part of the map, and the northern part of the map. You should see this pond right here, and then the other side of the pond is going to be the wall that leads into the northern garden. So make sure you take a swim here, and then you should be able to get it. This is another one that's going to be out in the open and doesn't really require anything special, so super easy to get. Molar number 14 is going to be done right here. This is going to be the ascent that takes you up to the northern part of the garden. Here's going to be this twig that takes you up to the rock that takes you up to the wall. There's the wolf spider den for reference. There was a rock there that you used a grenade to actually get into the northern garden. And then finally underneath that is going to be this leaf arch. You are going to walk under the leaf arch into this chasm in order to find the molar, break it open, and then add one more to our collection. Molar number 15 is going to be done right here on the border of the original map and the haze area. If you have not sealed the haze canister, you are going to need a gas mask for this. From the haze field station as reference, you want to make sure you look behind you, and this is going to be the entrance to one of the canyons. What you want to do is you want to make sure you take a dip on inside. Be very careful for the infected creatures in here. They will mow you down if you aren't paying attention. But the molar is going to be right here, very close to the field station, so very easy to find. Make sure you quickly get this one and then get out of dodge before the larvae can swarm you. So three quarters of the way done now. For number 16, we're going to head over here. This is going to be the rocky cannon that separates the haze area from the western part of the garden. Make sure you slide in on inside, and again, watch out for any of the infected creatures. The molar is going to be in this alcove to the left right here. Be very careful because there is going to be a fungal spore plant right here, and they tend to like to explode on you. So I recommend coming into the molar from this side so you can kind of shield yourself from the blast. Grab it, and then make sure you get out before it explodes on you. So again, since we are trying to avoid any dungeon crawling or swimming, we are just going to move on to the western part of the garden. This one is going to be underneath the picnic table. So make sure you head under the picnic table and you are going to look for this bottle right here. This is going to be the bottle where the milk molars originally came from. And then if you look inside, there is going to still be one in here. So this one is the original milk molar. And then all you have to do is just make sure you smash it and then grab it like the rest of them. So that's going to leave us with three left to grab. Moving on to the next one, which in direct contrast to the previous one is going to be on top of the picnic table. So make sure you look for the shovel and make sure you take this up to the top of the picnic table. So walk up the handle and then make sure you make the crossing across the benches as well as the crossbar and then make sure you get to the top. Then from the field station as a reference, what you want to do is want to make sure you look to the right and then you're going to find the open lunchbox slash cooler and the next molar is going to be inside there. So you are going to have to drop down, make sure you mind the fall damage. Highly recommend equipping the daredevil perk if you have that one. Try to land on the handle of the spork and the molar is going to be in the head of the spork. So make sure you smash it open and grab yet another collectible. Now for our pen ultimate collectible, the second to last one, we are going to head back to the top of the picnic table from the field station. What you want to do is you want to make sure you take the zip line across to the sandbox. And then once you make the jump over, you want to make sure you take a right while on the rim of the sandbox. You're going to notice the three domes to the back of the sandbox right here on the right side against the fence. What you want to do is want to make sure you head it to the middle dome. And then underneath this middle dome is going to be the collectible on the outside of the sandbox. Be very careful here. You are going to take a ton of fall damage. You should be able to make the landing if you happen to have near a full health bar. Again, if you happen to have the Daredevil perk, highly recommend using it because it will mitigate a ton of damage. But your best course of action is to try to get up on this side and then just ease your way down. Of course, you can also just walk here from the outside of the sandbox, but there are going to be a ton of enemies back here, including a ton of orb weavers. But the molar is going to be right here at the base of this dome right here. So it should be the middle most dome. So just make sure you grab your hammer and then smash it open for yet another collectible. And then that should leave us with one left.
All right, number 20, which is going to be the last one, at least for the sake of this video and the achievement. What you want to do is you want to make sure you make your way to the trash heap. You want to make sure you hug the bottom left corner and then wrap your way around. The field station is going to be there for reference, but eventually it's going to take you to this open area right here in the middle. You definitely are going to need a gas mask for this, so make sure you equip that before you make the journey. Once you do arrive in this open area, you are going to find this box right here. And then behind this box is going to be the last molar that we are going to pick up for the achievement anyway. So just make sure you look behind it and then smash it like normal. And then we should have all 20 molars. Now, keep in mind, the achievement will not unlock once we pick up the last molar. We are actually going to have to cash them in in order for them to count. So to cash them in, what you have to do is you have to make sure you bring them back to the Oak Lab, and then you're going to have to bring them to Burgle. So make the journey back home, and then head to the Oak Lab. Again, watch out for that infected wolf spider. And then head on inside, make sure you talk to Burgle. You are going to make sure you tell him about the milk molars. So pick pump me up with some milk molars, and then you're going to apply the stats accordingly. So make sure you spend all 20. doesn't matter what you spend them on as long as you use all of them. And then once you have your 20th upgrade spent, you should be good for the achievement. There it is. It's going to be for 50 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.